Today I'm going to open this Star Wars Unlimited Spark of Rebellion pre-release box. You can see I started the video and it's still intact. I started a video and I was in like portrait mode instead of landscape mode. Anyway, technical difficulties. If you like uh, this content, please subscribe to the channel and like it. And here we go. A little ASMR there for you. All right. So what do you get? Well, you get this box which is really nice because it's got a lot of space in here because when you put the cards in the sleeves they take up twice as much space so there's that plus it also comes with this really nice card very classic design looks like it's from 1977 and you can see there's a pattern on the box too so that's pretty cool and this box collapse you know collapses folds I already played a pre-game event once, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So in this slot right here, you'll see you'll get your uh, leader card, right? So open that up. Uh, nothing like the sound of that. Oh, it gives you two leader cards. So you get your Darth Vader foil and your foil Luke Skywalker. So that's pretty cool. All right, on the back, because when you play the game, you start your leader cards out like this, and then when you get enough resources, you turn them over, and they become active units until they're defeated. I'll do videos on how to play the game as well. So we got that, which is nice. Now, for the really fun part, well, actually, before we get to opening the packs, you also get tokens, so you get a card that you can punch out tokens, and this is the initiative um, indicator, and then also this X, which goes over top of your guys. So, like, say your leader gets, uh, you activate him and he gets defeated, then you put this on, then you put the X over top. So, get your punch out tokens there, and then you have your basic quick start rules. It tells you how to play. What's in the box? All the different phases of the game, what the aspects are, how do you attack, special rules about the leader, here are your aspect icons, vigilance, aggression, heroism, command, cunning, and villainy. Yeah, this will be fun. I'm going to play tonight at the game store, Game Masters, and so, yeah. I'll uh, teach you guys how to play in another video. So here's the fun part. Here's the part everybody's waiting for. You get six packs. In one of these pre-release boxes, you get six packs of cards. Now, in each pack, you're going to have a leader card. You're going to have a base card. You're going to have at least one rare or um, legendary card. And you're going to also have... Um, I think there's one foil card in each pack as well. So let's see if uh, I'm right about that. So they all have different, like, characters on the front, too. So there's Chewie, obviously Leia, Admiral Thrawn, for those of you who don't watch the cartoons. There's a lot of people that don't watch the cartoons, so I'm surprised. So this timeline of these characters is... Um, takes place from like the start of A New Hope to um, uh, the end of Return of the Jedi. So Rebels is part of that. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. I like to turn it, tear it down its spine like this. Try to keep a little bit of this intact. I don't know why. All right, cool. So unlimited symbol on the back of all of them except for the leader and the, um, ooh, and I just peeked. We got Jin Erso. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know about you. I am a big fan of Rogue One. Rogue One definitely falls in this timeline. All right, let's see what Jin does. Resisting oppression. Okay, her aspect there, cunning, right? And... What's this one here? Cunning and heroism. 
Great. So, attack with a unit. The defender gets minus one or minus zero for this attack. So that's once around you're able to use that heroic action. Or your regular action. Your epic action you can only use once per game. It says epic action. If you control six or more resources, deploy this leader. Well, that's... Yeah, okay. Great. So here's the artist's name down here. Here's the rarity. So this is actually common, although I had I didn't get one. And I've opened like many packs. I had the starter set and another one of these and a couple more packs. All right. And she's a four and a seven. She takes six to deploy. She'll attack for four and she'll defend for seven. So that's pretty cool. All right. Nice. So I'm going to sort them like this leaders there. And your base, this is Dagobah. This is common. I've have the, I have had this before. And on the back, you got a shield. So you can use these extra ones because you're going to get one of each of the leader and the base in every pack, right? So let's do that. So um, so if you, you end up with a lot of bases, and then you can use the back of the cards as shields or as um, experience is the other one. All right, let's see what we got here. Tactical advantage, give a unit plus two, plus two for this phase for only one point. That's really good. It's a useful card. Guardian of the Wills is a force card. The first upgrade you play on this unit each round costs one less. Hmm. Gorilla Attack Pod, I already have one of these. This is common. Homestead Militia, this is common. Sentinel for three, that's pretty good. This is a pretty tough uh, card. Consular Security Force, also common. Syndicate Lackeys. This is the first time I've uh, I own this card. I've seen it, but I have I have not. Um, this is the first one that I actually own now. And this is common, and it's late in the series. You can see the series number here, and it's a five. You get a five and a four, and it's ambush. So it will um, you can ready it right away. Right after you play this unit, may ready and attack an enemy unit. Unless it doesn't come in exhausted. For those who know what I'm talking about, I have plenty of these. These are very common. Tie fighters, space units. It seems to me now. Correct me if I'm wrong. For those who have some experience with this game already, it seems to me there are more ground units than space units. So space units can be very valuable because if somebody has a sentinel card in the ground unit, you have to attack that one card in that arena. You can always attack the base through space. So having a deck with more space cards in it than normal, I think, might be a good strategy. At least that's what I'm working on here. Oh, here we go. Gamorian Guards. Four, four, and four. And this is Sentinel. Is that foil? I don't think that's foil. It just looks really cool. That's common. And then a moment of peace with Yoda. Attack pattern Delta, that's a tactic. So what happens is this is a un, uncommon card. See down here where it says U? So you're going to get a couple uncommon cards. I think you can get three in every pack. And so it says give friendly unit a plus three, plus three for this phase. Give another unit two, give another unit one. That must be attack pattern Delta. How about that? That's new to me. I don't have this card. So that's pretty cool. So we'll put on comic cards here. That's I'm, I'm definitely going to use this card. But look at it. It's a double aspect here. So we have to talk about that later. Force throw. This is an uncommon one too, and I don't have this card. Choose a player. That player discards a card from their hand. Then if you control a force unit, you may deal damage to a unit equal to the cost of the discarded card. So that's pretty cool. That's an uncommon. AT&T Suppressor. Exhaust all ground units. Oh my god, wow. That is really powerful. But look, it's eight resources to play, so this is not going to come up very often. Ooh, nice. This is a rare, this is my rare card for this deck. So we got rare card. Search the top, you wing reinforcement supply. You search the top 10 cards of your deck for up to three units with combined costs, seven or less, and play each of them for free. Wow, that is huge, huge. So that's where we're going to put our rares. And then these are the commons. We need a flat surface for these. 
And then here's our foil card. And it's not, it's a common card, but it's also a hyperspace foil. Look, see the hyperspace on here? I gotta go through these other ones and see. I don't think I got any other hyperspace ones. Got a hyperspace foil. That's even more unique than uh, a regular hyperspace or regular foil. And mission briefing, this is a pretty common card, but that's pretty cool. It's a hyperspace foil card. And what do I mean by that? Okay, so here's a regular card. See how it has black border? And see how this does not have a black border? That's hyperspace because it's got these like lines coming off it. And foil because it's shiny and reflective. And I got some new sleeves, and I'll do you guys in another video. I'll tell you the difference between the two different types of sleeves that I bought. Yeah, there are no other hyperspace cards in this deck. So, pretty cool. I'm happy I got Gia Nor Urso. Let's open another pack. This is good. This feels good, doesn't it? Sabine Wren, Mandalorian Rebel Spectre. Deal one damage to each base. Nice. Each base. So if you're playing like a group and you're playing against uh, three other opponents, that'd be great. If you control four or more resources, deploy this leader. See, she gets to go out fast because she's only worth four resources, but she only deals two damage. She only does five, but she does get to deal damage to each enemy base. So that's really powerful especially early in the game so i'm pretty happy about this that's common so i saw somebody else had this in the tournament that i played and we have the catacombs of Kadera, and i already have like three of these so like or two of these i think and then here's what i was telling you about on the back of the card i showed you shields were one option now experience is the other one so this is cool it's not this is not a particularly uh, uncommon card but it's nice artwork all right, let's see what we got here. Started out with a two already, huh? Patrolling V-Wing. I already have that. Moment of Peace. We already have one of those. Occupier Siege, siege Tank. I have this in my other deck. This is a uh, good card once you get to level five there. I've also played with this card, Gladiator Star Destroyer. This is Sentinel. All right. So that's a space card that has Sentinel. That's pretty good. Vanquish as a tactic. I've shown that in another video. These are all common. Partisan Insurgent. Common card. <clears throat> ISB Agent. Common card. You can reveal an event from your hand, which is nice from this one, for this one. Corellian Freighter. That's Sentinel. That's common. Waylay as a tactic. That's common. All right, here we are in the uncommon cards. Fighters for Freedom. I don't have this one yet. Saboteur. When this unit attacks, ignore Sentinel and defeat the defender's shields. Nice. When you play another aggression card, you may deal one damage to the base. This is great. Very cool. So that's uncommon. All right. And then another uncommon card, Devotion. I don't have this one either. And this is Vigilance, right, aspect. Looks like rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> Attached unit gains restore two. When this unit attacks, heal two damage from its controller's base. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's uncommon. There's another uncommon card, Bamboozle. Uh, everything's normal, situation under control, right? You may discard a... Cunning card from your hand instead of paying this event's cost. Uh, so if you don't want to pay two, you can just throw away a card that has this aspect, the cunning aspect. Interesting. Exhaust a unit and return each upgrade on it to the owner's hand. Huh. That's pretty cool. So that's uncommon. So now's our rare. Heroic Sacrifice. This is rare. Okay. So, look, K2SO. He did heroically... Well, spoilers here. If you didn't watch Rogue One, I'm sorry. It's been, like, a long time now. Uh, yeah, he sacrificed himself heroically. 
Draw a card, then attack with a unit. For this attack, it gets plus two and gains when this unit deals combat damage, defeat it. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but I guess I'll figure it out. Ooh, we got a rare foil card. General Krell, Heartless Tactician. Look at the foil, isn't that great? He's rare. Wow, this is pretty amazing, actually. All right, he has double aspect of command because he's a really tough commander. Five, five, four, meaning cost five to play him. Five attack, four defense. Force, Jedi, and Republic. Every Each other friendly unit gains this quality. When defeated, you may draw a card. Hmm. Well, this is pretty amazing. I, I didn't expect to get a rare foil. I think those are actually pretty rare. All right, shall we open another pack? There's Thrawn. I'd love to get Admiral Thrawn as a as a commander or a uh, leader. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got Krennic. I love Krennic. I love Rogue One. When I saw Rogue One, all I wanted for Christmas that year was a white cape, and my wife did not get it for me. Each friendly damaged unit gets plus one, plus zero. Yeah, because I would have worn it. Okay, if you control five or more resources, deploy this leader. So he's only a five. This is great. Plus he's vigilance and villainy. So that's kind of an interesting combination. I haven't seen that before. Aspiring to authority, imperial official, restore two. When, when this unit attacks, heal two from your base. Hmm. Each friendly unit, damaged unit, gets plus one. Cool. So now I have some commanders I can put in the game a little bit closer. Chopper base. Yes, I have this card already. And leader experience, but that's okay. Fleet lieutenant. I have a ton of these cards. A ton of these cards. Mission briefing. Remember, we got the... So here's a great example. Okay, so this is a regular mission briefing card. And this is the hyperspace foil card. So why would you want this one when you have this one, right? Echo Base Defender, Rugged Survivors. I have this, but I haven't talked about this on this video, so we'll talk about it. Grit, each unit gets plus one, plus zero for each damage on it. And on attack, if you control a leader unit, meaning if it, you've already flipped it over, right? So it's not in standby mode, but it's flipped over and used as a unit. Then you may draw a card, it says. So that's pretty cool. Probably because of the vigilance aspect, I guess, is the logic there. All right, precision fire is a tactic. I don't have this card. Attack with a unit, it gains saboteur for this attack. If it's a trooper, it also gets plus two on the attack. Ignore Sentinel and, def and uh, Defender Shield is what Saboteur means. So that's pretty cool. Resupply. Put this event into play as a resource. Yeah, this is cool because you can get resources really fast and you can get your leader on the board. So like, I am definitely putting this off to the side because that's going to be in all of my decks, I think. Well, definitely all my command decks, that's for sure. Azatuk Liberator Gunship. If anybody out there knows what this is from, tell me, and um, I'll do a video about it. This is a good space unit. So you could divide these up among space, amongst aspect. It's really interesting, like how, you know, to divide your decks. Underworld Thug. I don't have this one. Look at that artwork. Cool. Common unit. Crafty Smuggler. I don't have this either. Shielded. When you play this unit, give a shield token to it. Cool. All right. I do have this. This is an unusual card, and it's a tactic. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a trick. Shoot first. It's an event. Attack with a unit. Gets plus one for this attack and deals its combat damage before the defender. If the defender is defeated, it, de it deals no combat damage. All right. Unusual. Bright Hope. This is a sentinel unit. When played, you may return a friendly non-leader ground unit to its owner's hand. If you do, draw a card. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
I always imagine this is the transport that is coming off of um, Hoth when they shoot the ion cannons, but now I see blue here, so I'm not sure if that's right. Another unusual, that's an unusual card. Another unusual card, Yoda, Old Master, Force Jedi. When defeated, choose any number of players. They each draw a card. Hmm, I don't see how that's like a benefit to anyone. Unless you're allied, you're playing like bridge, or you're playing like with partners and stuff. Electro Staff, I don't have that. Attached to a non-vehicle unit, while attached unit is defending, the attacker gets minus one. And it's a plus two, plus two, because you're holding that weapon. And that's a rare. So we'll put that in a rare pile. And I got a foil TIE Fighter. Woohoo! I do like the look of TIE Fighter. So like, even though this is an extremely common card, I'm not upset about this. It's cool to have that. All right, let's do another deck. Another pack. Getting better at cleanly opening these, I think. Ready? Ooh, Princess Leia. I don't have this card. It's common, though. It's five or more resources. Deploy the leader. Attack with a rebel unit. Then you may attack with another rebel unit. Oh, I see. So, like, you know how, like, you alternate turns in this game? So it'll be, like, attack, and then the other person attacks, and then you attack. You'll get to attack twice with if you have a rebel unit. So that's pretty cool. Five, attack with three, defend with six. Hmm. Heroism and command. Oh, that's cool. I'm getting some different commanders, so that's pretty cool. Administrator's Tower, this is the first base that I got. It's pretty common. All right, we already saw the Gladiator Star Destroyer before. That's cool. Resilient, we have not seen that. I don't think I have this card. It's just an upgrade. It just gives plus three defense. Doesn't really say it has any special feature. I wonder if that's a misprint or something. Death Star Stormtrooper, I have a bunch of these. Escort Skiff, I have a bunch of these. This has ambush quality. Scout Bike Pursuer, I don't have this. Grit, this unit gets plus one, plus zero for each damage on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Lothal Insurgent, I do have one of these, but I haven't shown it on this video, so let's talk about it. When played, if you play another card this phase, each opponent draws a card, then discards a random card from their hand. Hmm. Defeat and upgrade. Confiscate. Surprise strike. This is an event. Attack with a unit. It gets plus three for this attack. That's pretty awesome. Repair. Heal three damage from a unit or base. This is huge. I'll put this over here with resupply, actually. Devotion. We already talked about devotion. This is uncommon, but now I have two of them. <laughs> so I don't know how uncommon it actually is. Bamboozle. This is also an uncommon card, but I already have two of them. Whoa, look at that card. Wow, that's intense. Wing leader, but it's hyperspace. Very cool looking. Look at that blue sky. Give two experience tokens to another friendly rebel unit. That is sexy. X-Wings are so cool looking, especially when they like have their laser fire coming off of them. All right, I am going to put that here because that's like special. All right, and a rare. Our rare card is Strafing Gunship. So this unit can attack units in the ground area. While this unit is attacking a ground unit, the defender gets minus two. So that's pretty cool. That's a nice rare card. It looks like it's pretty useful. And then here, our foil card is actually the Bright Hope. But it's a hyperspace foil card, and that's an uncommon card. So look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Uncommon foil. Very nice. I'm very happy. I really like that they include like at least one rare and one foil card in each deck. It just makes things so much like neater. It makes every pack worth opening. I think they're going to sell these for about five bucks a piece. You get 16 cards. 
Maybe six. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask Phil. If you guys know where Game Masters is in Pittsburgh, Phil, I give a shout out to Phil here. He's a great guy. All right, we already have Sabine Wren, so that's cool. So we're going to put him, put her off the side. Echo Base, I have one of these, but I haven't shown it on this video on the back's experience. Nice artwork, huh? All right, Art and Sympathizer. I have this card, but um, I haven't explained it on this one. When you have the initiative, get plus two. Academy Training, that's an upgrade. We already saw Yoda's Moment of Peace. Regional Sympathizers. Hmm. Restore two. When this unit attacks, heal two damage from your base. Interesting. I have not seen this card before. We have the Gorilla Attack Pod. We have a Patrolling V-Wing. Cell Block Guard. have that. ISB Agent. We have the Krillian Freighter. Reinforcement Walker is unusual. I do have this in another deck, but this is pretty cool. Um, when played on attack, look at the top card of your deck. Either draw that card or discard it and heal three damage from your base. That's pretty cool. That might come in really useful, especially late in the game. All right, defeat any number of upgrades on a, on a unit. Power failure, that's an uncommon card, and that's new to me. I haven't seen that one before, but that could be really useful if you have a really sticky card that's, uh, that's against you that might be uh, dealing a lot of damage. You can get rid of it. Wing leader, now remember we have wing leader here, but we have the actual like... So here's the difference. Hyperspace wing leader and regular, wing, well, uncommon, but wing leader. Look at the artwork on those two. So this one just jumps at you, you know, it just jumps right off at you. That's uncommon. So here's our rare card. Smoke and Cinders. Oh no. That's when Aunt Peru and Uncle Owen got it. Each player discards all but two of their choice from their hand. This is a game changer. Wow, this could really disrupt somebody's game. Oh, cool, and we got a common uh, but neat foil card. So look at that trajectory. In the regular version of this Asteroid Sanctuary card, this is white, but this looks so much cooler. Exhaust an enemy unit, give a shield, give a shield token to friendly unit, cost three or less. Very cool. All right, last one, last pack. Open this up. Ooh, I wonder what we're going to get in this one. Ooh, Iden Versio. All right, if you guys don't play the video games, you're not going to know who this is, but she's from Battlefront and uh, Battlefront 2, actually. If an enemy unit was defeated this phase, heal one damage from your base. And it says if you control six or more, deploy this leader. This is a rare leader. See this? Rare. That's my first rare leader, I think. Shielded. When you deploy this, give her a shield token. When an enemy unit is defeated, heal one damage from your base. Very cool. Vigilance and ability. She's rare, so... And put her over here with the rare cards. Chopper base, we already have one. Vanquish, we've already seen it. Occupy our siege tank, we already have it. Echo base defender. Units in this arena can't attack Sentinel. I have this in another deck, but not on this one. Guardian of the Wills, we already looked at that. Looked at Partisan Insurgent. We have a bunch of fleet lieutenants. Ooh. Outer Rim Headhunter. Okay. Raid. This unit gets plus one when attacking on attack. If you control a leader unit, you may exhaust a non-leader unit. Cool. More space guys. Gamorian guards. What is this? Whoa. Mining Guild TIE Fighter. Never seen this before. Tell me what this is from. Look, it's a hyperspace card. Wow. That's amazing. Wait a minute. I just spotted a hyperspace card in here. Yep, this repair card is a hyperspace card. Whoa. All right, you're going over here. 
Mining Guild TIE Fighter. Tell me what this is from. I don't remember seeing this in any of the animations or anything like that. You may pay to if you do draw a card. So if you just are flush with like resources and you need a card, you could this might come in handy. But yeah, I love that. Look at that. Hyperspace card. AT&T Suppressor. We already have that. That's an uncommon. So we're going to go here with that. Shoot first. We have that. That's uncommon. Rebel Assault. Attack with a Rebel unit. It gets plus one for this attack. Then attack with another Rebel unit. It gets plus one for this attack. Okay. And here's our rare card. Spark of Rebellion. Well, that's the name of the whole episode of Star Wars Unlimited. Spark of Rebellion. Spectre. Look at an opponent's hand and discard a card from it. Oh, oh, oh man. That's intense. Oh, cool. And we got an unusual foil card, Power Failure. And that's really cool because look at the sparks flying. That's really uh, cool with uh, foil effect. So, all right. That's my unboxing of this uh, Spark of Rebellion pre-release uh, set. If they have any left tonight, I'll probably buy another one. And uh, we'll do another video. If you guys like these videos, smash like. Did you like my ring, by the way? And uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I hope you're having as much fun with this game as I am because I'm really, this is really intense. I'm really enjoying it. All right. If you have questions, put them in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.